Hagrid said to follow the spiders. on the waterfall and you shall see the light.
he sent you? They've taken him to Azkaban. They think he set a monster on students. 
I come from a distant land. A traveler gave me to Hagrid when I was an egg. He cared for me, kept me in a cupboard, and fed me. When I was blamed for the death of the girl, Hagrid protected me. Now, I live in the forest. So do you know what did kill her? The thing that lives in the castle is an ancient creature we spiders fear above all others. We don't speak its name. Okay, I'll just go then. Go? I think not. The car screeched to a halt, and Harry dived inside. Hurry up, Ron! The door slammed shut, and Ron didn't need to touch the accelerator because the car was already speeding away. They sped out of the hollow, branches whipping the windows as the car wound its way cleverly through the widest gaps, following a path it obviously knew. After ten noisy, rocky minutes, the trees thinned, and the car stopped so suddenly they were nearly thrown through the windscreen. They had reached the edge of the forest. Harry and Ron arrived safely back in the Gryffindor common room. What was the point of going in there? What have we found out? I'd like to know. That Hagrid never opened the Chamber of Secrets. He was innocent. Harry, Ron, I'm sorry, but this will be a bit of a shock. 
there has been another attack. Oh no. Who? I am very sorry, but your friend Miss Granger was found petrified near the library. I have asked all students to remain in their house common rooms. I also have some rather bad news for you in particular, Mr. Weasley. I'm sorry to tell you that your sister, Ginny, has gone missing. The suspicion is that she has been taken into the Chamber of Secrets. Oh no! What are we going to do? Aragog mentioned that the last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a girl was found dead in the bathroom. What if she never left that bathroom? What if she's still there? Moaning Myrtle! Go to the girls' bathroom, Ron, and find Moaning Myrtle. I'm going to find Lockhart. Lockhart? Why? He's the defence against the Dark Arts teacher, and whatever's attacking people is definitely involved in the Dark Arts. OK, I'll meet you in the girls' bathroom. Ginny will be all right, won't she, Harry? Don't worry, Ron. We'll rescue her. And then I'll close the Chamber of Secrets for good. Wattle bird! Godric Gryffindor! Brilliant! You have 50 every favour beans. Have a famous Witches and Wizards card. Greta Catchlove. Brilliant! You have 50 every favour beans. Chauncey Aldridge. Brilliant! You have 50 every favour beans. Herpo the Fowl. Brilliant! You have 50... Paracelsus. Sorry, Harry, but if you want more famous witches and wizards cards, then you'll have to find them hidden around Hogwarts. Montague Knightley.
Daisy Dodderidge. Strange. Why is the door locked? I'd better find another way around.
Oh, Mr. Potter, I I'm rather busy at the moment. Professor, I have some information for you. I think Moaning Myrtle was the girl who was killed by the monster 50 years ago. She may know where the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets is. Ah, uh, well, okay, if you're sure. Oh, it's you. What do you want? To ask you how you died. Oh, it was dreadful. It happened right in here. I died in this very bathroom. I remember it so well. I didn't in here because Olive Hornby was teasing me about my glasses. I hid in a cubicle and started crying. Then I heard a boy come in. He said something funny. A different language. Anyway, I unlocked the door to tell him and go and use his own bathroom. And then I died. How? No idea. I just remember seeing a pair of great big eyes. And my whole body seized up and I was floating away. Where did you see the eyes? By the sinks. Look! The taps are turning into snakes! Try saying something in parcel tongue. Okay, I'll try. Open! I'll go first. Well, it looks like you boys don't need me, so I'll be off. We'll be right behind you, Harry. Won't we, Professor? Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs>